see everybody in here sitting on my porch having my coffee. I got my shades on because the sun is coming in and out of the clouds and it's just blinding me. Anyhow, we've been having some weird weather. It has been basically t-shirt weather around here and um, we had a bad storm come through a couple days ago and somebody warned me, get your chickens up in the coop, you know, down in the comment section. I can't even remember who it was and I'm like, oh, the chickens will be fine. I stressed out so much about those chickens because it was raining so hard. Luckily, it wasn't super windy, but um, I really wished that I had kept them, well, at least the free rangers up in their coop. The the gentlemen, um, they, they did fine. They just, you know, sought cover under the tarps and stuff and the Easter eggers. They did fine too, but um, the free rangers, well, uh, the puppies <laughs> destroyed part of the fence, so... Um, I'm, I'm making a, some adjustments to the yard. Um, they, the, the Easter Eggers, not the Easter Eggers, the main flock, the van flock, no longer has a yard of their own because I let them out of the van. They free range all day and they come back. Um, I'm sectioning off um, a section for another coop and I've been working on that. Um, the chickens have basically destroyed the little mounds around the um, apple tree, so I'll show you that later uh so i've had to do something kind of janky but goodness all right romeo anyhow um and flame is crowing and there's one other rooster that's in the van either waldo or rocky too who's crowing i don't know which one but so there's going to be some more division of the flocks um that's coming very soon I had to go into town yesterday and do some shopping and spend some money because I needed some supplies. Um, I got to get this chicken situation sorted, so as much as it hurt me to have to spend money, I did it anyhow. Um, but I had it. I had just a little bit, just enough to be able to get what I needed, so I'm going to work on that today. Anyhow, I'm just going to finish my coffee. The first thing i got to do is replace the extension cord to the generator. Why, you ask? Well, because the puppies chewed through it. Yesterday when I was out in town, they went to town on that extension cord. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't fix it. Um, where's Cody when you need him? Yeah, you guys. You guys. <laughs> it's a mess over there. So, I have to see if I've got enough extension cords to make it all the way over there. Well, it only gets this far, and it has, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 feet more to go. And I don't want to leave the plug exposed, so I'm going to have to pull some of that underneath and see if I've got another extension cord long enough to accommodate the distance. It looks like this green one is going to be okay. It wasn't my first choice, and I'm just keeping that underneath of here for right now where it's connected. Um, I'm going to see if I can devise something to put it in so it doesn't get you know, moisture in it and whatever. So this goes all the way over to the shed and to the generator. It's definitely not ideal, but um, in this green one, it's not as heavy duty as I would like. So um, before I start running the air conditioner, um, I'm gonna have to get something heavier. But for right now, I just need to charge things up. It has been cloudy for days and everything is just dead basically. Yeah, that's the old one. Um, I can't, yeah, right. I don't know if you can see it. That's where the puppies chewed through. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. So I'm going to fire this baby up and uh, see if I can get it to work. All right, let me see if I can remember the sequence. Propane on. Oh, I filled up my propane tanks. Oops, just one. So I've got plenty of propane. away that something wasn't right because this has a little tiny light on it so and this is not charging so I need to go back to the generator it's got to be the generator um, maybe that big long extension cord wasn't the culprit after all I gotta tell you 
I'm a little bit nervous about this, you guys. A little bit nervous, just a little bit. Okay, I'm looking at this here. Everything was set right. This was on. I turn it off before I attach a load to it. Um, reset. I'm going to push that. Reset. All right, let's see if that works. See that? And it's charging, so now I get to hook some stuff up and get everything charged up. And since I'm going to have this generator running pretty much all day and into the night to charge everything up, I'm going to make me a nice pot of split green pea soup with ham. And I'm the only other flavoring or seasoning I've added is flaked garlic um, because this ham has enough salt and flavor in it. It doesn't really need anything else. So I'm just going to put the lid on this and let it cook all day. I love this crock pot. My old neighbor Denise gave it to me and I've baked, uh, not baked, but um, cooked whole chickens in it. So yeah, this is gonna be used quite a lot since I've got all kinds of propane and it killed me to have to go buy that propane. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. I got plenty of propane so I'll be able to fire up the generator and run this anytime I want. So now I'm going to show you what I had to do because the chickens were basically digging up my apple trees. With all this damp weather, I've been getting a lot of mushrooms and I'm going to show you something in a minute. Um, I've been finding a lot of black fungus and you know how I kind of like kept the, the sticks and put them in that little planter thingy? Well, I'm going to show you what's been going on with them. I had to turn the sound down because I think the generator maybe was a little too loud, but remember all these sticks that had black fungus on them that I harvested and I just let the, uh, left the little nubs on them, you know? Um, they are all regenerating. They are all regrowing. And check this one out. I pulled this one out of my woods the other day, took all the black fungus on it, but it is growing back. Look at that. It is just as big as the stuff that I took off of it and I actually cooked them up in a uh, like a pot of beans or something. It was really really delicious. So yeah these are growing back. I don't know how long they will continue to grow back but see they've all got some on it that is growing back and the damp weather is what's been doing it. See that? Well that's part of what the puppies kind of tore up but that's okay. It's It was cheap. I knew it wasn't going to last long. But I just kind of cobbled together little fences. What I had initially done, um, I didn't have any of this around it. I had just mounded up some dirt because they had dug down to the root, the root ball. Um, and mounded up some dirt and got some wood chips. And that's not cedar. Um, I don't know how good cedar is, you know, to use as mulch. But um, I think that's red oak. But anyhow, um, so I just mounded that up and the chickens the very same day, flatten it all out. So I had to do this. Yeah, I just kind of hooked it up very temporarily. I'm going to fix this um, with these little clips uh, because it was going to rain and I just wanted to get something around this so that the chickens wouldn't keep digging in it. So yeah, they're still trying, but they're not getting in. So that's good. Um, eventually, I would like to replace this with... Um, either deer netting or just plain old chicken wire so it's not so visible because I hate the look of this right out in front of my property but it's there for a reason so whatever. Ooh, look at that you guys. These beans are already really soft so you know what what I usually do is I just add more beans but because I like the first batch to kind of like cook down until they're basically just soupy but um, I don't want to make that much soup uh, because I think I'd have to add more water actually. So I'm just going to let this cook and these beans are going to cook down a little bit more. But it is going to be delicious and it just smells so good. I did go ahead and put another scoop of the split green peas in there because I'm not going to be eating until, you know, hours from now and it's got plenty of time to cook. So, um, and I like some of the beans just kind of firm so you can tell they're still beans um, or peas, whatever. Um, and then I, I like the rest just to be like thickening the soup. 
but I taste it. It's going to be really, really good. So, um, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, and I hope that this coming year is going to be good for all of us. I'm excited about this next year. Um, lots of plans. Um, like I said, I've been working on the chicken yard. I don't know if I'm going to get it finished today and ready for the chickens that I'm selecting to put in there. Um, because tomorrow it's going to storm all day, and I am likely to keep them in their coops. The the van coop, I think I'm just going to keep them in there. They're going to be mad at me, but I'll put their water in there. They've got food in there. Um, I don't know. I think it's just going to be safer in case something, you know, if there's a turn for the worse, and I can't have this anxiety again. I mean, I was just so nervous the other day. Um, and the gentleman, um... I think they'll be okay in their yard. Um, the Easter Eggers, I can let them out into their little run, just not, not into the yard. They'll have uh, enough room to go out and mosey around in their little yard. But the Free Rangers, they're going to be mad, but I just got to keep them safe, and I just cannot have the stress of, you know, some really bad weather event comes around and just wipes them all out. You know, in the middle of the night, they're already up in their coop, but it's going to be raining all day and all night. So, anyhow, um, I'm just going to go out and do a few more things. I need to bring some wood inside because it's going to drop in temperature big time. And then I'm going to ring in the new year with my puppies um, eating split pea green, uh, split green pea soup and ham. <laughs> anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.